Hello everybody and welcome to a demo by Magic Meerkat. Today we have a very exciting product to show you all and that is the Magic Meerkat Control Surface CSV100. Uh, we want to show you guys how easy it is to integrate with vMix because the control surface, believe it or not, is actually made for vMix and how also it is easy to integrate with the BirdDog P200 ICE cameras. Sorry, BirdDog ICE P200 cameras. Um, today we have a special person named Tu. Hi, Tu. Hey, hey. He's going to help me explain to you guys, you know, uh, how to set up the control surface and how to integrate with the vMix and also with the BirdDog P200 cameras. Uh, to please carry on. Uh, first of all, explain to me how do we connect the control surface with vMix? So uh, for this control surface, it connects with USB Type B, and I'm going to plug it in real quick right now. And I'm going to switch it on. So as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward setup process. Um, Windows should be able to detect its drivers real quick. And all you have to do is just switch on vMix right now. So that should be all you have to do on the hardware side. Uh, but for now, we have to do some additional settings in vMix. Head over to the settings menu. Under the shortcuts uh, subsection, you'll find that it's empty right now. So uh, head over to templates. And uh, we have to import the templates for in order for the control service to work. We've prepared some templates on the website. You can so you can just head over to download. You'll find it in the download menu. So under the MMCS templates, just click on it and hit apply. And you'll see that all the shortcuts uh, has been loaded in. And we have to do the same for the activators. Uh, hit over to import and again look at look for it in the download menu. Uh, MMCS activators. Click on it and hit yes, and you see that all the activators are loaded in right now. From here on, can we immediately control the P two hundred cameras? Um, not really. We still have one more step in that regard, but it's a pretty straightforward step. Let's just load in our P two hundred cameras first. We are connecting via NDI today. So that's our first camera. And I'm going to go and add our second camera. All right, so now that we have our first bird dog up on the preview screen, we are going to try and set up uh, control on the joystick. So if you go into settings under the first camera, there's a subsection in PTZ. In our case, we're going to choose the Sony Visca over IP since the bird dog shares a similar chipset with the uh, Sony PTZs. So we'll select that and key in the respective IP address. So if you choose connect right now and on the control surface pick preview, you should be able to establish connection with the PTZ. You can zoom, pan, and even tilt. All right. And we are going to do the same thing with our second camera now. Right, it works. Okay, with this, can we save presets for the PTZ? Um, with presets, I assume you mean uh, specific angles for the PTZ. That is an it is a feature on VMix, yes. Nice. So for that, uh, we can go under. Let's say we want to do the first camera, and save this position. We can go to the configuration. And if you see this big green button right here, create input at this position, vMix will create a uh, new input and save this angle right oh, no, here. Now it becomes uh, input 5. Yep. So let's say we change the angle of this PTZ to somewhere else. And I want to recall the previous uh, angle. I'll just hit input 5 on the control panel. And there we go. Ah, I see. All right. 
Oh, quick sneak peek on the <laughs> another switcher right there just now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Uh, can you also maybe show us a quick overview of the entire control surface as a switcher? All right. Um, so as you can see, I'll put the preview on input four so you can get a better view. Um, so the switcher works pretty much uh, as what you would expect of a control surface. So we have the uh, preview inputs and as well as the program inputs. So right now we are on the first input for program out. So say if I want to switch to the second input, I'll put it up on the preview, select it there and do a quick uh, tick. And there we go. Oh, how do you get that transition over there? Oh yeah, um, for the transitions, we also have a panel up here where you could choose specific transitions. Mm, right now, we were on the fly. I'm going to switch to the zoom out, I believe. And if I do a take, sorry, that was a zoom in. <laughs> there you go. We even have a zoom out probably on this one or even the, the usual fade. We can even do a cut. Okay, that took a while. But yeah, oh, that looks really interesting. Um, I, I can also see that there are a few buttons out there that can help us immediately go uh, live um, streaming, um, but also to record. Am I correct? Mm -hmm, you're right in that. So just as an example, if you want to do a record, we would still have to do a basic configuration of VMAX itself. Just go to the settings panel under the record at the bottom. And say we want to record MP4, we'll pick the MP4 submenu and you'd be able to pick the uh, your respective hard drives where you want to record and uh, in fact you can do a name change right up here and click ok once you're happy with all these settings and all you have to do is hit record and there you go right 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 cool what's the four buttons on the right just below the um the joystick right over here Yep. So uh, right now, if you see what's selected up, it has uh, selected cam mode, which is basically the PTC controls. But on top of that, you if you notice, there's a preview setting and a program setting. What it essentially means is if it go back to our PTCs, uh, we'll put one on the preview and one on the program. Since the joystick control is on the preview right now, what it means is that it'll control the PTZ on the preview menu. But say if we want to do a direct control over the program, it'll switch right over to the program PTZ, basically. I see. Okay. All right. I think that is a quick, quick uh, introduction to the control surface. Thank you, too, for explaining to us and sharing us the quick overview of the control surface. Mm -hmm. For everyone out there, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop us a comment and also a DM if you'd like to talk to us privately. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye. Bye.